Monday, happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day for you. Hopefully everybody got a chance to get out and get some volunteer work done, dedicating it again to the man to try to lead us a little bit closer to some peaceful relations with each other and making it a day on for service instead of just another day off. I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onik. This is WDEF News 12's video weather blog, Weather Overtime, where we try to give you a little bit more of an explanation as to what's going on with the weather. We usually get about two to three minutes during a typical weather camp on TV. This gives you a little bit more idea as to what's going on. Temperatures for tonight will remain quite mild, not really dropping too much more than the mid to upper 40s. Should stay right about 50 degrees or so, and high temperatures tomorrow will be well above normal back in the mid, the mid to upper 60s if we get enough sunshine out there. For the almanac for today, very close to where we should be. A frosty morning, but again, very close to normal out there. Seeing nothing in the rain gauge official some minor raindrops from time to time and we still have just a bit of a surplus out there but only by a fraction of an inch so we're technically right where we should be for precipitation for January and the year so that's not entirely bad the next couple of days will be bringing in more chances of rainfall some more rain expected overnight into Tuesday morning a bit of a dry spell only a bit and then we see more chances of rain Wednesday night into Thursday that could be the heavier rainfall that we'll be taking a look at what exactly is going to be occurring. We're also going to be seeing, again, some temperatures way unseasonably mild back in the mid to upper 60s. Keep in mind that we should be in the lower 50s at this time of the year. Thanking our own Andrew Harrison, taking a gander at the Asian Lantern Festival before it closed up shop this weekend. That's our West Shore Home Weather Window picture of the day. And if you've got pictures to share, we would love to see them and show them. Pictures at WDEF.com, Facebook.com slash WDEF. News 12 is one of the places you'll be able to find us on social media. The cold air is all bottled up back to the north of us. We will be seeing some of that cold air heading our direction, but until then, we're going to be seeing temperatures rather on the mild side for the next couple of days. This is not going to be affecting us, but this is still an incredible thing to take a look at. We've got a system under investigation that's Invest 90L from the National Hurricane Center. It is a non-tropical low formed well outside of the tropics back on up to the north and as of right now that system is going to continue to make its way back to the north and to the east but it's going to be going that direction very slowly so basically making no progress whatsoever anytime soon what that means is for the continental united states moisture is going to be heading up into that colder air which means we may see the potential of some mixed precipitation around new england we will not be seeing much of of anything our direction as again we see uh, the potential of anything involving tropical systems not coming our way but we are going to see the system kind of hold in place for at least the next 24 hours it's just interesting to take a look at very unlikely that we're going to be seeing hurricane force winds out of this but really kind of interesting and maybe a little troubling to see this in january we've just got scattered light showers taking place a lot of cloud cover that's about it so outside of speckles of rain on your windshield we're really just not looking at a lot of activity here we are going to be watching our next storm system heading in from out west we'll talk about that because we'll see the potential of more snowfall into portions of california and back into portions of the rest of the mountain west that's good news again for the ski resorts and for the reservoirs and for the water and drought situation out there but we're going to be seeing a bit of a halt to the system as what we're going to be expecting is out that direction the storm systems coming in from off the pacific are going to halt for a little bit as a large ridge of high <clears throat> high pressure begins to build over portions of the Intermountain West, and that should do a good job of blocking any storm system coming our way, which means we'll have some more peaceful weather for a little bit starting as we go into next week. Our next storm system coming on through will be this one. This gives us the potential of some stronger weather, especially back into the Plain States. For us, we'll be looking at the possibility of more rainfall, maybe a rumble of thunder. We just don't see that much in the way of elevation or instability coming our way. That's what you need to get the thunderstorms going. A fairly stable atmosphere, which is basically what we have right now. Yes, you can get showers, maybe a rumble of thunder if you get enough instability to kind of get the lower atmosphere in motion. We're not seeing that. So for overnight tonight, more chances of showers as we go into very early Tuesday morning. The commute to work or school. 
that could be on the wet side as we get more showers out there. Fairly chilly tomorrow, but not any lower than the upper 40s to the lower 50s. And then clearing out and more sunshine means the temperatures are heading upwards. So very mild tomorrow afternoon, getting back into the sunshine. Maybe a chance of a speckle of rainfall as we go toward Wednesday afternoon, but mainly just cloud cover expected as we head through that particular picture. Not for tonight. Not for Tuesday, but into Wednesday, we'll be seeing better chances of stronger weather. We might pick up some generic thunderstorms. Again, that's as good as it gets. The higher portion of severe weather will be back to our west from the Mid-South Mississippi Valley down to the Texas Gulf Coast. That is where we see the strongest potential out there for any thunderstorms coming on through. And again, that's going to be Wednesday into Thursday before we see anything. Tuesday, very mild fog, drizzle in the morning, giving way to partly to mostly cloudy skies through the day. Very mild into the afternoon. Yes, we see more chances of rainfall coming on through. But finally, California and the West Coast manages to find a bit of a break, which will be kind of nice. We'll be seeing our best chances of rainfall mainly back to into Georgia and northeastern parts of Alabama. Alabama. Some areas of the Carolinas could pick up two to four inches of rainfall before all is said and done. But the good news is for right now, the really heavy rainfall for the western continent will be back into southwestern Canada, not for the U.S. West Coast. So very good news there. Running the numbers into the next couple of days, keep in mind that our normal high temperatures at this time of the year should be in the lower 50s. And look at where we're going to be until about Friday. That's when our temperatures finally stabilize and get a little bit closer to normal. Normal. We'll see chances of rainfall off and on from Tuesday into Thursday, a bit of a dry spell coming up from Friday into early Saturday, and then more chances of rainfall from Saturday into very early Monday. That's also where we start to see the very normal temperatures coming up. Maybe a little bit on the chilly side Thursday night into Friday morning and especially Friday into Saturday as those clouds begin to depart and we see little in the chances of anything holding the heat of the day in. So that'll help us out a little bit. In the long range forecast, again, that storm system for Thursday expected run through and again getting out of the picture. More chances of rain coming up again Saturday into Sunday. And this is where it really gets interesting before a large chunk of moisture makes its way north from the Gulf of Mexico and very cold air by the time we hit next Tuesday starts to head its way off the areas of southern Canada and that could create a decent amount of rain mixed with snow some of which if it gets colder enough by the time we hit midweek heading toward the last week of January might see some frozen precipitation coming on through here but keep in mind again that is about a week and a half away so not wanting to indulge in which wish casting at this point so we'll keep it tuned to news 12 and we'll keep you advised on this. Want to be a storm spotter for the National Weather Service and you live in Hamilton County or Chattanooga? Friday, February 10th is your day or evening at the Memorial Hospital Community Rooms, DeSales Avenue. It's free. Your tax dollars, my tax dollars pay for this, but you have to register for a seat as seating is limited at weather.gov slash MRX. Skywarn is a volunteer organization, which means you don't get paid for it, but your information could help the National Weather Service save lives. You need to know what to look for and where. You need to know how to program your weather radio. We can help you do that. WDEF.com slash weather. Now is a very good time to make certain that that is ready to go before the next severe weather threat, whenever that is, starts to roll our way. More information about all this stuff available on my social media pages, so stay tuned for much more on that. Now on Counter Social as well. Again, fairly quiet for the time being. Nothing major coming our way. Winter weather maybe a week and a half off severe weather just not showing up for us at this time so blissfully quiet and after the end of last year and the start of the new year kind of nice to have some quiet periods in here for the time being at least chip chapman has your forecast bright and early on tuesday morning starting at 5 a.m eastern and of course i'll be back through the rest of the week to help you out questions concerns ideas aonic at wdef.com or find us on social media and our web main web page at wdef.com weather stay tuned for much more with news 12 on air and online